When I was a lad, I was gloomy and sad, as I was from the day I was born. When other pigs giggled and gurgled and wiggled, I proudly was loudly forlorn. My friends and my family looked at me clamorly, thought there was something amiss. When other kids' various songs were hilarious, all I could manage was this. Shouted, he needs to be clouded, his hat on a platter, I'll hand him. My mother, she cried as she rushed to my side, you're a brute and you don't understand him. So they sent for a witch with a terrible twitch to inquire on fate's fickle finger. She took one look at me. I cried, such misery. Actually, there were no Jews in Oklahoma at the time. There was not a Jew in Oklahoma, so I don't know why I said it like that. Such misery! There we go. <laughs> He's destined to be a torch singer! A singer? Torch singer? A pathetic thing, a torch singer. No, but you know, bigger, no candlestick maker, and me with that look, I'm a grim undertaker. I confess, I'm a mess. But where could I learn any musical turn? It was not in a book I had read. No teacher of tune or available crooners, and Miss Helen Morgan was dead. So I started to travel to try to unravel my mind I was starting to lose. When I got to the South, I just Open my mouth, cause the feel that appealed was the blues. Nobody knows it's the last scene. Oi. Well, they chased me around till I got to Motown where they hoped that with disco I'd dabble. But the music was bad, but soon I was rapidly off to the core of the apple. At that in Manhattan, I eagerly sat in on singers who sang what they felt. The first thing of note, was the lump in my throat, which quickly inspired a belt, I belt, and the belt. So I'm proud to recall that in no time at all, with no other recourses but my own resources, with pure affirmation and determination, though surely I'm purely preserved, I've learned a torture's cheap employment is to suffer for your enjoyment. Torture overjoyed is out of one. You can't hold a candle to a torch.